When you see that field of blue, you know it can be only one place in the world. Boise, Idaho, on the campus of Boise State and home to the fabled giant killers, the Boise State Broncos. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the Pac-12, the Oregon State Beavers, taking on the 16th ranked team in the land, the Boise State Broncos. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Broncos will get us started with the opening kickoff. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The Beavers' return team certainly didn't do the offense any favors there. And here he comes. This offense is built completely around the talents of this running back, a rare commodity in today's game, and all eyes are on it. And the defense knows it, too. You know every single snap this defense is going to be keying on this running back, knowing that he is the key to the offense's success. They need something that goes forward this time on second and long from the 14. Fires to the big fella. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Well, this tight end, he's got size and he's got some athleticism, and he's very difficult to cover one-on-one. -on -one. Defense is going to have their hands full with him today. So already a challenge on this opening drive. It's third and nine. Looking to throw, it's McCoy. Buys a little time with his feet. And the defense is there to stop him short of the first down. Great job rallying to the football by this defense. Third down, QB's trying to extend the play, but great team speed on defense now setting up fourth. The Beavers will try to pin them back with the punt. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. He's got great speed. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. So Boise State's offense will try to get something started with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. They, these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Effective draw plays in the running game really begin with the quarterback. The quarterback's got to be a great salesman. You got to really make the defense think it's pass. You keep your eyes focused downfield till the last possible second turn around and hand it off. And by that point, the defensive ends have rushed way upfield and there's less bodies for the running backs to have to maneuver around before finally moving forward. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the linebacker's showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. On third down, he drops the throw. Finds his big tight end. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21.
the Broncos look to keep this drive humming. They'll throw it on first down. Got a man. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. And when this quarterback is in a rhythm, this offense is really hard to stop. You've seen that on this drive. He's three for three, but they're also running the ball well. Everything they're dialing up right now is working. They've hit him with back-to-back -back chunk plays. Now it's first and goal. He'll pull it on the read. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I'll tell you, this is a hard defense to run against if you're going to go sideline to sideline because of that guy's speed at linebacker. He can get all the way to the perimeter, chase the quarterback down on the option, and make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Impressive. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Go straight ahead. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Broncos! And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. So a drive that started just beyond midfield, only 49 yards, and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Coming out with it, it's Griffin. He's brought down at the 16, would have been much better off to take the touchback. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The well, last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. And now on second down for this offense. back to throw it's McCoy now he's going to break the pocket and this one will be stopped for no gain you could clearly tell that he wanted to throw the football and he wanted to go through the air and make a big play defense does a great job corralling him getting some pressure and most importantly getting him on the ground they line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one on third and long he's going to have to throw for it and the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. All right, this quarterback is going to have to start playing with a clock going off in his head. He knows he cannot hold on to the football too long with players like that getting after him. The Beavers send out the punt unit. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. He gets a block. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He'll try to do it himself. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised. And initially, he's flushed out of the pocket. Nothing's open. And he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Open space at the 25. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense...
confidence breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back, and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. And the Broncos are threatening in the red zone. Wants to fire on second down. Working the middle, it's complete. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the 8. The QBs, when you see zone covers, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. They'll run it on first and goal. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Boise State. Wow, this offense. They have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And it was capped off with the eight-yard run. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone. It's Griffin. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Oregon State takes over, ready to send the offense onto the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Got it in the middle with Anderson. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get that ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. From the gun, the running back has it. Still on his feet at the 45. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. And the Beavers come to the line in the hurry up. Off play action on first down. Feeling some heat. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Second down coming up. They'll throw again after the incompletion. This one's complete. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. I don't know if that was a bust defensively, but there was nobody in the middle of the field that time, making it way too easy for the offense to pick up a chunk play in the middle. The Beavers come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking to pass. It's McCoy. Pressure coming. Trying to escape and get it himself. 
And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. You know, we don't see this very much in college football anymore. Quarterbacks just taking care of their bodies and making smart decisions. Get down on the ground so you don't take one of these big hits from these nasty defensive players and just give yourself a chance to make it through the rest of this game. Caught in the backfield. It's Terry. And an absolutely fearless tackle. Giving up size. Still got him on the turf. It must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position that can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. He's got it. He gets it in. Touchdown, Oregon State. Big time touchdown there to get some much needed momentum. You got to find something, right? Who are you going to go to to make that big play to get you back into it? You're not back in it yet. It's not, it's not tied. You're not there yet, but you're starting to inch back into it and get some momentum going. Ready to try the point after. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. So a drive there of 84 yards. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. Here's the return from inside is 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. Going over the top. He's got it down the right side. Nothing but green ahead. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown Broncos. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. They'll see quarterback one snap, put it in the end zone. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. It's a draw. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And you can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back, you got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense where now they got a, a manageable situation. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. He wants to throw. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Looking to throw, it's McCoy. Got it set up on the outside. At the 45 on his way. 
They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. The Beavers are on the move. To the air on first down. Coming after him. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Well, the offense trying to stay aggressive, right? You just came up with a huge play, and right away you go back to another pass. But you got to do a better job protecting your quarterback. Can't give up a sack there. That sack gets this offense behind the chains. It's second down. He's looking to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. You know, you hear the term nickel so much. Most people stay in nickel most of the time because of all the speed in college football and the running quarterback. And you see why it pays dividends. More speed on the field when the QB does take off to go get him on the ground and force a fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Catches it at the 15. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. Boise State ready to send out that offense. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. He's loose. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. And busting big runs like this, we always talk about the running backs, but it's the big boys up front paving their lanes, those receivers gluing on those DBs that make these plays really go for big yardage. And how about those receivers? Not just the glamour of catching passes, but doing some dirty work, too. No doubt. When they get on those guys in the second level and get on those DBs, that's when you break... And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. Do you see these windows? They're getting smaller and smaller to throw into. Really nice job by the defense that time, getting a hand in there, knocking that ball away. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Out of the gun, the give to the back. They'll give him four on that one. It's third and six. They'll operate out of split backs. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Finds his man down the middle. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. Just beautiful, and that's a great feeling as a quarterback when you make that throw. It keeps your offense on the field, keeps the offense in rhythm. Obviously, not as good as throwing a touchdown pass, but I'll tell you this way better than having to trot off over to the bench and wait for your turn to get another shot. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Unloads to the wide out. It's incomplete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Man, you know, you always look back in games at single plays that turn the tide. And with his defense now trailing by two possessions, if they could have just caught the ball and gotten that pick, that potentially changes everything in this game. That was a missed opportunity. Off play action. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. While we're only through one, these quarterbacks have been lighting up their stat lines.
just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. From the gun on third down. Throws to the wide out. Complete to the left. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. Third down and short is exactly what you want on offense because you can run the football, make the defense suck up, but you can also throw it. Nice execution, third and short, now set up in a first and goal situation. They'll try to get it in with the run. Snowed under after a pickup of two. They'll mark it at the eight. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. Well, that last incompletion is a good example of why your timing has to be so good as a quarterback because the windows, they open and they close so quickly in this part of the field. It's still third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Let's it go to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Broncos. This quarterback really does a nice job seeing the field and reading coverage. And when you go empty and you spread the defense out, it's easier to see what the defense is doing. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They march 78 yards down the field and they finish things off with an eight yard toss for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Oregon State takes over, ready to send the offense onto the field. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision-making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quick. Now the play fake. Gets rid of it. Quickly to the tight end. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. They wanted to get the ball to the tight end, and they've already done it five times, and we're not even to the half. I'm about to say, mission accomplished. That's what they want to do. Take advantage of the matchup, right? Zoner, man, I like my big fella. I like using the tight end all I can. Great job working him into the offense. He's a playmaker. Find him. Going up top on first down. Finds his tight end. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. This tight end just creates matchup problems no matter how you try to defend it. How about the catch radius on him, too? So as a quarterback, you don't have to be perfect when throwing it to him. You just got to get it somewhere in his vicinity, and he can come up with the catch. Power football with the run. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. And the Beavers moving quickly to the line. To the air. It's McCoy. Fires to the wideout. And they can't make the play on third down. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. 
The Beavers will punt this one away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. On his way back from the 20. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. On that last drive, defense had no idea what was happening, run or pass, and it wound up in the end zone, Jesse. Yeah, you saw the experience in this offense that last drive, too, on that touchdown. Everybody on the same page. These guys have repped these plays over and over in practice and in games, and it's working, Dave. Yeah, so I got to find a way to disrupt it. I got to find a way to maybe be more aggressive, maybe blitz, mess up this rhythm they got going. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. The offense lines up at the 41 with a first and 10. He's going to pass. He's right on target. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. When I'm a quarterback and I see zone and I see my guy curl up real quick, I got to hum it. And he threw that thing with some revolutions, with some velocity right to his receiver so he can make the catch. They go to the ground. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Man, those, those little chunks keep annoying the crud out of you when you're on defense. It's just putting them in easy situations, chewing up four to six yards at a pop like that, puts you in a bad situation as a defensive coordinator. What do I call? Either way, priority number one, we've got to stop the run. They're getting this guy lathered up. Can't get him to the ground. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy on the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. It, what could have been set up in a long yard situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. From the gun, the ground game. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. They have work in front of them on third and short from the 42. From the gun, wants to pass. Steps away. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. This is a good sign for this defense. The rate they were going, not touching the quarterback, him already having two touchdown passes in the first half, this was not going to be a fun football game to watch. Now they're turning the tide a little bit, getting a little bit of pressure, getting a sack. The Broncos decide to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And that is textbook, instructional video, out of bounds right around the goal line. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Little bit of running room as he picks up four and gets it out to the five. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The play action fake. It's complete on the right side. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Bought a little time, lets it go. Makes the catch. It's Clemens. Really needed a play like that to get out of their own end. They move the chains. They mark it at the 29. 
I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. The Beavers will snap it on first and ten. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Here they come to try it again on second and 10 from the 29. It'll be a draw. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. Picks up just a few before he's brought down, not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. And the Beavers line up to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Finds a tight end. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, and I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. They're going to go to the air on third and short. Boom. Quickly complete. It's a fumble. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Yeah, and you see wide receivers make those catches and try to get upfield and now turn into a running back and make something happen. And a lot of times you just forget to secure that football real tight. And you could tell DB got it out. Big mistake, big turnover, nice forced turnover by the defense. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for in a position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. They'll leave it with him. Aaron is trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. Third and short coming from the 34. You wonder if this is four-down territory. Quarterback floating away from pressure. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. All the way down to the 25-yard line. It's first and 10. Unloads to the wideout. Snags it. And he'll go out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they've got it right on the doorstep. The corner route will always be one of those staple routes versus zone. So if you see zone, it's a great job by the wide receiver pushing vertically. You see him threaten that safety, and then you break off to the sideline where it's really hard for that corner to get back in the play. Trying to pound their way in. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. 
There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide on these situations. You know the physical ground game comes into play inside the five-yard line, and they match the intensity. Nice job. Everybody flying around to the football, making the tackle for a loss. Nice job by this defense. Looking to throw, it's McCoy. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Beaver. And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing into the end zone because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now on game day. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they trail by two touchdowns, 28-14. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. They've got it down to a two-touchdown deficit, trailing by 14 and about to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Boise State ready to send out that offense. From the gun, the Gale looking for room. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23, a pickup of four. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Trying play action. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. He's got his man, makes the grab. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. Man, this quarterback is having a first half. He's over 200 yards already, heating up, setting up. Dude, this dude might break his career high in passing. I don't know what it is. Somebody get stats for him. And the Broncos have it with a first and 10. Handoff from the gun. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Well, um, missed opportunity on offense. QB and receiver just not on the same page there. The misconnection leaves him with a third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Spits it out to the back. Complete out of the backfield. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. The Broncos will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Oregon State takes over, ready to send the offense onto the field. They cut into the deficit the last time they had it, forced the punt, and now they can really make this a game. And you're right back in this thing. You're creating some momentum. You got the score. You got the stop. This offense, Jesse, has a chance now to make this an absolute barn burner of a ball game. Yeah, it's one play at a time, though, right? You're not going to get it all back in one play. Just go out, do your job, execute, keep this thing going down the field. And if things go well... Like David said, we've got a game. They'll line up for a second down play. 
Back to throw. It's McCoy. They'll run the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Well, this offense will screen you in a variety of ways. They'll throw receiver screens, tight end screens. The running back screen also a big part of what they like to do like you just saw there. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. The Beavers will line up to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Just a wall of defenders everywhere he looks, and he's guided out of bounds after a short return. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. He's going to take off. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. Nice job by the QB, sit back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home, take off and slide. I love the slide in. Don't take a big shot. Now on first down from the 43. He's looking to throw it. Finds his target down the middle. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on game. And here comes the offense on second down. Complete to the left. Touchdown, Boise State! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. When these offenses get in the rhythm, they're hard to stop. Already up early, got a short field, take advantage of it too, get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a 35-yard pass for six. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. He'll bring it out. It's Griffin. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. Looking to go up top on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Clemens. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They opened up this drive, getting all the way out to the 35, and now it's first down again. Looking to move it through the air. Using his legs to buy some time. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Line getting set on second down. Dropping back, it's McCoy. Quickly out to the tight end. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play call and everyone on the same page here. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. The Beavers will send out the punt unit. Fair catch called for and made. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Looking for room. It's Genty. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin and our halftime update.
Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium in Boise to take a deep breath and kind of digest what we just saw. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have defined this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. And with that, let's send it back to our guys high above the Smurf turf. And the Beavers will line up to kick off and start the second half. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Fires to the big fella. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. Offense gets set for second down. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. Facing a third down and short from the 26. They'll try to run for it. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And the Broncos will call on their punt team. Running it back, it's Wells. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. Oregon State takes over, ready to send the offense onto the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. Yeah, and just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. The Beavers racing to the line in the hurry up. Dropping back, it's McCoy. They're working that left side. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46 yard line. It'll be first down. Nice patience by the quarterback here working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. He wants to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Clemens. You know, the beautiful thing about being a quarterback is you can throw a little drag route and they can take it 60. When you got fast playmakers on the outside that you can get in the ball in their hands really quickly, great things can happen. One yard passes can turn into 60. It's beautiful to be quarterback. That last completion has them set up second and short. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Looking to throw for it. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? Trailing by multiple possessions in the third and desperately needing a score, they'll go for it on fourth down. 
He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's got him, and they convert. And not much of a fourth down gamble when it's that much of a sure thing, an easy conversion for this offense. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now a fresh set of downs. The Beavers are moving quickly down the field. Running back searching for a hole. Stop is made almost immediately, giving one to the 23. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Off the play fake. Grabbed over the middle. It's Terry. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackling. And the Beavers want to crank the tempo. Dropping back, it's McCoy. They're trying to get to him. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive. And I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. The kicker will reach for a 36-yard attempt. Between the uprights, it's good. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together. Starting a drive like that really builds confidence. First down from the 45. He's going to pass. And that one's incomplete. Worth taking a shot there, but couldn't hook up. Well, the good news is he did a nice job reading the coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football that time. Just a little bit too much on that pass. You wonder if that's just nerves. He's got to settle himself down a little bit. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. They'll run play action. Quarterback now on the run. Still looking. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out, but when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. The Broncos will line it up on first and ten. Use the play fake now to throw. A shot toward the end zone. Touchdown, Broncos! And the punishment has been extended. This game must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead. Way ahead. I mean, it's been, been really, really easy. I better get some more hits on him. I better do something to make him feel uncomfortable. Because right now, it's just like, oh, you're running that? Yeah, that's easy. I mean, he's, he's already read your mail. You better change the address, do something different. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they pay it off with a strike from 38 yards out. 
about to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here in the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. From the gun, running back gets to give. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? If you're going to stop the run game, you better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some maulers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Trying to get to him. Snares it outside. It's Terry. This is a tight end that not only is going to play with his hand in the ground, but he can line up in the slot as well and attack the defense vertically. He's too fast for linebackers to cover, and he's too big for DBs to cover. He's a real weapon in this offense. The Beavers will bring the punt team onto the field. He'll try to really get into this one. Let's see what he can do with it. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. He leaves it with the back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Got three on first down at second and seven. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. It's caught. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. To the ground with the back. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Broncos! And the pummeling has started. If you want to know how to reach this guy, just send his mail to the end zone. That's where he lives. He definitely is today. And I think the defense has to be getting a little sick and tired of the same guy beating him time and time again. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And what a way to finish it off with a 21-yard touchdown run. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. Oregon State takes over, ready to send the offense onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Let's see what they've got on second down. To the air, it's McCoy. Fires to the tight end. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. 
A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. And they got the completion, but still looking at a third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? The Beavers will try to pin them back with the punt. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. Boise State ready to send out that offense. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute them. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Set up for second and short after that completion. They'll run the option. Crosses the 45. And he froze that defender. He thought he was going to pitch it, kept it himself, and turned it into a big play. I mean, goodness gracious, you could have driven a semi-truck through that hole. Nobody touched him. This was an easy run. This is the easiest 40-plus yard run you will ever see. They had hoped to come up with explosive plays, and they used one there to set them up inside the 30, first and 10. Grab behind the line. It's Gaines. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. I'll tell you what, really good job by the defense having vision on the quarterback. And as soon as he threw that football, man, they broke on the football right away, didn't waste time, and got the running back on the ground for no gain. On second down, just keeps firing. Slings it downfield. Complete downfield. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. Wow, the quarterback knew he had to get that one to his receiver quickly on the in route. Did you see the velocity on that throw? And the Broncos are moving quickly down the field. A first down run in the red zone. When a running back has had as much success as this guy's had so far, listen, defense has got to cue in. they got to cue in to him. He's priority number one, number two, and number three. That's a good start to maybe turning this defensive effort around. Can the D deny them on second and goal? Tries again to get it in. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Well, he's had the hot hand. Three TDs in the game already. I like just force-feeding this guy the rock some more here, Paul. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They've been the more physical team. He does a really good job finding the end zone, running the football. That's why they've featured him today. Marches ahead. Well, with a huge lead, interesting decision. Are you going to try to pad it with a field goal, or do you want to stay aggressive, Dave? And what's nice is you got this big lead, so it really doesn't matter whichever you choose, but you can grab the points, or you can go to try to put this nail in the coffin. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. Well, he won't have any problem with the distance, but the angle could be a different story from the left. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And they just tack on a little more to this gargantuan lead. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. He'll bring it out. It's Griffin. 
Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, the offense is trying to go counter, but the defense blows it up, and they do it by getting penetration up the middle, setting up the tackle for loss. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Looking for a man. It's McCoy. Makes his connection. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You could tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. And the Beavers send out the punt unit. Makes a move. He turns like that or why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the oath. He'll try to pop the draw. Gets away from one. Finds some space. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. How nice is it as a play caller when you've got a running back as good as this guy, right? I mean, you can just dial up conservative run calls. Nothing has to be too tricky, too fancy. You just know he's going to go make good things happen. Even when it's not blocked properly, he is still finding ways to rip off long runs. This guy now has over 150 yards rushing in the game. Doesn't look like he's slowing down. You know, you're seeing in college football now with spread offense and tempo and air raid, we're seeing more and more 400-yard days, but I can't remember the last time I've seen one look as impressive as this guy has played today, David. He has been on fire. And it's so annoying now because all the quick quick game is so good. And then and you take shots when you get matchups. And you see tight ends now that, that move like wide receivers and running backs that move like receivers. There's so many ways that quarterbacks can hurt you now. And he showed all of it today. A nice job by the QB there timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage. So he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. The Broncos look to do some damage in the red zone. On the run, it's Genty. Headed to the end zone. Touchdown, Boise State. And the route is on. Have yourself a day, young fella. You know why they handed him the ball a lot? Because he did that. That's his fourth trip to pay dirt. This dude has shown you a little bit of everything. What a great back. And four touchdowns on the day. On to attempt the try. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And it was capped off with an impressive 16-yard run for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Oregon State takes over, ready to send the offense onto the field. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Danced his way through traffic. Pick up a four to the 19. Small gain, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him onto the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Back to pass. It's McCoy. Throws to the wideout. 
Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. They'll throw it on first down. Now improvising. Short gain on the play before he slides. Listen, that's not going to go down as a big play, but he does a really good job turning a negative play into something positive. It's not a big gain, but it keeps you out of those negative situations that really makes you very predictable. Here comes the offense on second down. Off play action. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here with a big lead in the game. You're putting extra DBs on the field knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field and they force an incompletion on the last one. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. He's going to let it go. And it's caught inside the 25. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. And how about the big strike down the field? I love when offenses take shots down the field, try to make big plays. Now they're set up in the red zone. The Beavers are flying down the field. They'll run it in the red zone. It's Hankerson. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Keep it on the ground. Headed to the end zone. And you race it to the house. Touchdown, Oregon State. And this has been a rough day for this offense. And finally, some good things to happen. Build some momentum maybe for the future. You know, that's, that's the way the coaches spin it when you're getting beat up and you're getting destroyed. Like, listen, let's find something for the future. Let's keep fighting. Let's keep working. This team's done that. Put some points on the board. So it's not all bad. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's perfect. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Movement here from the tight end. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman.
They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Moves around to clear up the vision. Still on his feet at the 45. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want, to, they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. And the Broncos have it with a first and ten. The give to the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The lone back's got it. They get him on the ground at the 33, but not before he picks up six. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. They're looking at a third down and short from the 33. They'll try to get the first through the air. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. And he's brought down after a nice game. He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. And on a critical third down here in the fourth quarter, surprise, surprise, guess who they go to? That guy. Inside the 15, first and 10 from the 14. Using his legs, it's Genty. He's all the way down to the three. Showed it all on that run. The clock is my friend. If I can do this late in the ball game with a lead and I can continue to run the football and they have no answers, well, then I'm going to walk away with the win. So, listen, I wouldn't change a thing. I'd keep pounding the football, keep running the clock. The Broncos line it up with a first and goal. Takes the easy one to the back. Touchdown, Broncos! And the stomping has commenced. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns on the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So an 82-yard drive there. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. Comes out throwing on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Clemens. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day, so been a successful day. Now, 300 yards... I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big <laughs> deal today in college football, no doubt. Uh, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. This offense has a second down play. Looking for a man. It's McCoy. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. How about this defense? No mercy. Like, listen, I know we're up big, but they are still hunting, still flying around, still chasing, still making life really miserable for this offense.
It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. From the gun, wants to pass. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, and certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're going to have time to throw. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job. Opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive worked. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll try it again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming in they were going to have to give him the football, force feed it to him, and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game, and the defense just has not had the answers consistently for him. Looking downfield. Can't make the play on the interception, and man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. And that is a frustrating possession for this offense. You wanted to run the football maybe, take some time. You did the opposite. Got in a bad situation, threw the football, stopped the clock. Not how you manage a game late in the fourth quarter. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Bringing it back, it's Wells. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stopped. Oregon State takes over, ready to send the offense onto the field. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. To the air, it's McCoy. Quick strike complete. Put it right on him. Sweet play, good pickup, and they'll move the chains with the first down. That was a nice pickup, running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. Wants to throw on first down. Gets it out quickly. On the move at the 30. His defense giving up ground as he's finally knocked down at the 26. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. The Beavers will have it first and 10. He's looking to throw it, getting some heat. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Now on second down. Looking to throw it again. Got it behind the line. It's Anderson. And he'll be run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Not a very productive play there. A little less room to work with now as the ball is at the 28 and it's third and long. Back to pass. It's McCoy. Fires to the wideout. And this is going to be incomplete on third. 
Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. And after putting an earlier field goal up, they'll try it again, this time a 45-yarder. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And the field goal is good. They get three on the board, but it really doesn't matter much in terms of the deficit. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Boise State ready to send out that offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. On the option. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Well, they try to go quarterback design run on that play, but the defense just not buying it. Nice job, everybody playing downhill and making a tackle close to the line of scrimmage. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. The handoff keep working on that clock. Strong running there. Going to pick up seven yards on the play, but they still have a fourth and three. And the Broncos will punt this one away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Oregon State has it back, and here comes the Beaver offense. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit forcing that incompletion. Now on second down after the incompletion. Scanning the field, it's McCoy. They're setting up the screen. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. How about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocks to really help out the back, find some space to go to work? Just shy of midfield at the 47. The defense needs a third down stop. They'll try to get it through the air. Throwing right. Can't make the connection. The pressure there caused the missed timing. Normally, I would say, fourth and short on your own side of the field, you punt the ball away, but we're in the fourth quarter, and they need to keep this drive going to win. I say go for it. And the Beavers decide to punt it away. They'll look to pin them deep. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. To the ground. He's got it again. 
Always quick to make the move, and he's out to the 39. How good does that feel, right? You've got the lead in the fourth quarter. The defense knows you're going to try to run the ball to ice the game, and you rip off an eight-yard run. They know it's coming, and they still can't stop it. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Looking for room. It's Genty. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Now staring at a third and short from the 40. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they've built this lead. They've had a great day today. The Broncos line up to punt it away. And the punt will hit at the 7, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Wants to throw. It's McCoy. Here's a throw downfield late. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense. They've been so good, man. Dialed in. You could tell they were ready. They were fast. They were physical. They dominated this football game today. On third down, going up top. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? The Beavers will punt it away on fourth down. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. Final minute. This game's on ice. They can take a knee and run out the clock. This offense has to feel great with how they're able to go out, execute, and perform big plays all game long. I think it's sending a statement, too, to future defenses down the road on the schedule. They're going to be tough to contend with. Yeah, I mean, they got firepower. Putting up so many points. This thing is easily over. Now they can just chillax. Go back to the locker room. Know they're going to get the victory. Hand off to the lone back. And it is a good idea to gang tackle. First guy couldn't get him. Second guy finally did. 